warm start to the work week, but we're going to end the work week on a very different note. Some lower temperatures on the way and also some tropical rain on the way as well. We still have that system brewing in the Caribbean right now. We'll get to it in just a moment, but because of it, uh, we have issued first alert weather days for at least Thursday evening overnight into early Friday. Main threats with this system will be heavy rainfall, some gusty, possibly damaging wind, coastal flooding a possibility as well. Slight tornado risk as we might be in the perfect area for some spin ups as we head into late Thursday night and early Friday. As of right now, though, the system still doesn't even have a name, which eventually it will be named Helene. Uh, you can see as we kind of zoom on in to the energy out there, at least the moisture with our tropical satellite imagery, you can see something is trying to get itself together, but it's been pretty steady with its intensity uh, throughout our Monday. As of right now, it's called potential tropical cyclone nine. Maximum sustained wind speed only at 35 miles per hour, but the Air Force, they are heading into the system tonight and getting more information. So that will really tell us more about intensity and strength. We're still expecting this to make landfall right along the Big Bend area of Florida. It still has a few days to really remain over warm ocean water, continue to strengthen, eventually making landfall over uh, parts of Florida there. Like we mentioned, as we head into late Thursday, you can see we're not necessarily in the cone, but as you know, that doesn't really mean anything. We're still going to feel and see impacts here at home, which is why we have those first alert weather days uh, for Thursday evening and early Friday. Check it out here with our future tracker. We're moving forward in time. This is early Wednesday morning, still not much here at home, but you can see the center of this storm system traveling throughout the Gulf of Mexico, eventually bringing us some rainfall as we head into Thursday afternoon and evening overnight into early Friday. That's when we'll see that tornado threat as those bands sweep through the area. But the good news about this system this is Friday night, dry conditions. So this system is out of here almost in the blink of an eye, uh, which is good news. Very unlike Debbie really did linger for days, but this tropical uh, rainmaker here will be out of here for the weekend, which is good news. But once again, tracking this eventually a named system named Helene as we move throughout the day tomorrow, even late tomorrow night. Once again, time frame late Thursday into early Friday morning. So just remain weather aware. As you also know, details will continue Continue to change. This isn't even a fully formed storm yet. So stay with us over the next few days as we continue to give you those updates.